beautiful Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your reconciliation reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. So if anyone claiming to be me asks you for any of those things, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Let's get straight to your reading, my beautiful Capricorn. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. And let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorns, so this is your reconciliation reading. If you are not wanting to contact someone that you have separated from, then this is not your reading. A member of the collective did ask for a reconciliation reading, so here I am. Uh, if you're looking for a singles reading, I have done one of those for your sign, so please check it up. Uh, check it out. It's already uploaded there for you. Um, and if you're looking for a career reading because you're not interested in love, I will be doing one of those in the next couple of days, so look out for that as well. Now, I'm just going to get your overall energy for those who do want to reconnect with somebody just to let you know I do not condone anyone going back to an unhealthy relationship that is toxic or narcissistic or in some way abusive now I'm fully aware that we're all adults and we all you know have free will and uh, I would just say be discerning about your wonderful energy Capricorn you deserve the best so make sure that the person you're trying to reconnect with uh, feels the same way okay uh, and gives you what you truly deserve so let us see the energy thank you so much spirit guys going angels Okay, we've got the Judgment card, we've got the Magician card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can we please have the Unified Energy? Oh, wow, that's a lot. We've got the Empress card, we've got the Hangman, and we've got the Hermit. Okay, so just to let you know, the first card is your card, my beautiful Capricorn. The second card is your person's card, and the last set of cards is your Unified Energy how it's all going to turn out, okay? Now, this reading is good for five to six weeks in terms of energy, so if it says in five to six weeks that you you know you and this person are not going to connect, it doesn't mean it's not ever. It means in the next four to five weeks, this is what you can expect in the union and how it's growing. Okay. Now your protagonist energy is the judgment card. So this is the card of second chances, but you're weighing up your options. You're not typically the sort of person Capricorn who goes back to something when you're done, you're done. Okay. But there's something about this person that you have some doubts about before you move forward. You know that this person, I get this, I feel like this person has come back to you before or has come, yeah, I feel like this person has reached out to you for a second chance before and I feel like there's something here you can't quite let go of, but at the same time, I feel like you're looking for, of course, uh, you know, better energy from this person. I feel like you're having some sort of major epiphany or realization in this relationship, and I feel like you're wondering if this person is really meant to be on your life path. Is this person really your soulmate? Uh, I do feel like there, deep down, you would like to have a second chance with this person, uh, a chance to talk things over, to really see things from each other's perspective, um, maybe even reunite, um, get rid of that blockage or that stagnation kind of energy that's been sort of hounding this relationship. But I feel like the jury's out. You're still judging it. I feel like you're, you're not sure. There's part of you that's, yeah, let's go for it. There's part of you that's, no, I deserve better. So I do feel like a swinging kind of energy from your protagonist energy. Now, doesn't mean that, you know, over time, you and this person won't sort of reevaluate the dynamics of this relationship and work things out. But I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like you're not 100% sure, okay? But I feel like there's an element of you that really would like to, but then you re-question yourself. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, I'm going to go to a Celtic cross and see the details as well. We got the Magician card. So this is your person's energy. I feel like they're manifesting, um, you know, accomplishments in their world. I do feel like they're actually thinking about you. Uh, I will pull a card on that, but I feel like this person is really inspired to act at this time. I feel like they, uh, you know, 
I feel like this person, there is an element here of this person who's quite, he's, he or she, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, but I feel like this person is focused, super focused on goals, uh, dreams, aspirations, okay? I do feel like there's an energy here of this person, when it comes to your relationship, there is a, pro a procrastination, okay? Um, so let me just see what that is before I move forward, because I do feel like this person is thinking about you, but it's almost like they there's an element of them expecting you to come to them, Capricorn, and hell no, okay? The judgment card says you're not giving to this energy freely anymore. I feel like you're taking a bit of a step back to really think about things. Uh, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. How would you like to receive? Thank you. Uh, Queen of Swords, yeah, this person's not speaking. Queen of Swords in the reverse, okay? This person is logically in their mind. Also, I would I would say there's just an element of codependency with this person, just to that I'm picking up there. Um... I feel like this person has um, created a barrier. Nine of Wands. I mean, there's your barrier. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior energy. Someone who has, you know, quite defensive. Someone who uh, either has been hurt in the past or is, you know, shielding themselves from love at this time because they're focused on accomplishments. Uh, you know, whether it's career accomplishments. It's almost like they thought they could put love on hold until such time as they're ready. And, you know, I mean, sometimes that's a really savvy thing to do because uh, why would you jump on in um, when you're not ready for something? You just wouldn't. Uh, but th this person, the Nine of Wands says they're going to persist at coming on in towards you. They, they keep sort of coming into your world and it's almost like they call they stop everything. It's almost like they call time. They come into your relationship or come towards you and they're like, hey, I'm here. They expect everything to kind of just revolve around them. So I'd be a little bit mindful of that energy. I mean, it's not the most positive energy that I'm picking up here. Now, there may be a reason this person may, you know, be committed to goals or dreams and they may genuinely have no time to give to a loving relationship at this time. So they may be being really honest with you and saying, you know what, this is where I stand and I'm not going to change that. And it may not be what you want Capricorn so that's what you're weighing up uh, in terms of your options uh, but I do feel like this person either has not communicated it fully to you um, but there's definitely like a stagnant energy here the lover's card they believe you are the one okay they know that you're a divine counterpart they know that you're uh, the one that they want to be with there's a lot of love here this person you know I feel like this person is sort of they do have a choice as to whether they should be in a union with you or not but I feel like there's a lot of deep love here for you I feel like this person does want uh, to be in a higher level of commitment um, but they just haven't spoken it now we'll see why we're gonna go on a little bit further and see what's going on there I would say this person is thinking about you um, now the unified energy we've got the Empress card now, the Empress card, again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, but this is the outcome energy, which is about knowing that we are enough. So I do feel like you and this person are building confidence within yourselves, and both of you are actually quite a catch. You both bring a lot to the table, but there's something here. This person tends to keep you waiting because we got the hangman right there, um, and, you know, this person, I feel, is in a solitary energy because we got the, the hermit. Uh, I'm going to clarify these cards to see how you feel about these cards and how they feel about these cards. I feel like this person has to sacrifice themselves to the union, see things from a different perspective, because I feel like this person, either they think by settling down that you expect to grow a family uh, quite quickly, and they're like, no, 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 that's, I don't want to rush this, I don't want to get to that part of my life just yet, I've got some other things I want to do before I hit that uh, part of my life, because we got the Empress card here. Now, I, not unless you have children with this person, Capricorn, and, uh, you know, you and this person, uh, for the sake of the children, are going to see things from a different perspective, but you may remain in the next four to five weeks in a solitary energy, because the Hermit says, uh, alone time. A temporary timeout. So in the next four to five weeks, unless something radical changes, I feel like there's a lot of spiritual growth, a lot of nurturing oneself, a lot of, you know, time for reflection, uh, time to manifest, uh, you know, some good things into your world that may not be connected to do with love at this moment in time. Uh, I feel like this relationship has the power of endurance, that it can stand the test of time no matter how uh, separated you are or how long you've been apart. Uh, I feel like I do feel like someone is focusing on their own needs though in this relationship and not willing to look as a duo at this moment so let me just see what that energy is i'm going to see how you feel about this uh, card how do you feel about the final cards we've got the ace of swords you have doubt 
you feel a little bit confused, a little bit, you know, uh, maybe you feel like it's poor judgment of you to wait for this person. Uh, so you may be trying to weigh up what is the best way forward because at the moment, this person is not communicating what it is uh, that is either spooked them in the relationship or that they're thinking. Uh, the Ace of Swords says you may not even trust what this person has to say. You may feel like they were dishonest in some way uh, and pushed you away. Uh, you may feel like this person's got somebody else. At the moment, I would say with the Hermit card and the Hangman, I feel like this person's just hanging loose, thinking about what they want, okay? Now, I just did a Gemini reading, and there was a similar energy in that, so perhaps you've got Gemini placements or your person has. Um, two of Wands for your person. So Two of Wands is weighing up options, but it's also about, you know, um, making a choice, whether they want to be in a committed relationship or not. I'm going to go again there for you, uh, just to see. Thank you so much. The devil card in the reverse. Um, I feel like there's nothing really sort of getting in their way. I feel like they've let go of anything that was holding them back or, you know, that was, um, if you felt this person was in your relationship only for, you know, the goodies, as it were, between the sheets. I don't feel like that at all. I do feel like this person um, is just trying to work out in a kind of a responsible way, believe it or not, what they want, okay? I feel like this person doesn't want, to attach themselves to anything at this time okay so again that may not uh, help you there uh, but let's see what your uh, sort of overall energy in the union is I'm going to see what the heart of the matter is for this relationship thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn what do they need to know okay thank you so much so we've got the star card, we've got the three of swords, and we got the fool. Now things are starting to heat up, so I just got to take this off because when things start to heat up in a relationship, uh, you know, it gets a little bit hot for me. So I'm just going to uh, ch turn that uh, away there for a moment. Now I'm just going to get all your cards right up to uh, the near future, okay? Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding this union? Okay, uh, we also have two of swords. There's some sitting on the fence going on here. There is some stalemate energy. Uh, and what is in the near future? They want three cards in this position, so I will give it. Whoa, that's more than three. Oh, they said so. Put them back. Wow. I've never had an energy like that come through before. We've got a little bit of energy joining in the cards. Uh, normally, I take the cards that pop right out, okay? Um okay thank you so much i'm truly grateful uh so yeah they want three cards in this position um but they're also giving me a name uh, and the name is lorenzo okay lorenzo that's quite a interesting name lorenzo so either your person is called lawrence lorenzo uh lawrence for short um, so please take it as resonate. It's not going to resonate for everyone. If it does not resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Reading it just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. It may it may be a piece of text that uh, your person gave to you, a poem or something by someone who wrote it, and if they, the person who wrote it was called Lorenzo. I don't know why they're giving me that. That may be for someone out there. So please take it as it resonates. Um, one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's, so, it's so odd. They're giving me uh, Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Uh, now, Puss in Boots, I mean, that's like um, pantomime type thing, isn't it? Puss in Boots. I mean, uh, Puss in Boots is like a cat in boots, right? Um, so, mm, either there's something there about Puss in Boots for you, or maybe it's a nickname. Uh, I really don't know, so I'm going to have to let that one go. When images or uh, names or things come up, uh, come up for me and I can't quite get the energy that they're trying to give me, I will be honest and say, you know what, I don't know, I don't know. So uh, please take it as it resonates for you. I'm not really sure about Puss in Boots. Uh, now we got the Seven of Pentacles, we got the Chariot card, and we got the Six of Wands. Interesting. Okay, so let's start before we go uh, forward. We got the Star card. So this is the heart of the matter of the relationship. Things need to be healed, but there needs to be clarity. You you want to know where you stand. You want to know whether you are holding on for nothing in particular. There seems to be a stalemate energy here. The star card indicates there's a lot of um, wisdom being downloaded at this time. And I do feel like it's being embraced by both parties. I do feel like there's hope, actually, in this relationship. But the challenge here is heartbreak. The challenge is the uh, loss or uh, the sadness that actually chipped away at this union. Um, 
The challenge is, you know, someone apologizing or, uh, you know, making amends or owning up lack of accountability saying, Hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I did that. I didn't mean it because, you know, humans, um, I'm not here to uh, take anybody's side in this union. I'm, I'm here to understand both sides so I can transmute the overall energy at the end of you coming together or not, depending on uh, the energy that comes through. Um, but I do feel like it's so hard once someone has broken a trust or broken, uh, you know, a confidence in a relationship it's very difficult to overcome that and mend it and you know nobody wants to play the blame game i feel like you're getting stronger i feel like you're healing from this capricorn uh, but i do feel like clarity would be nice so i'm just going to pull a card on what the star card means for you and what it means for your person and also that three of swords because it seems like there's a lot of um a lot of sadness that has occurred. Now, this could be the separation energy that I'm getting, but let's see. Uh, what does the star card mean for Capricorn? We got the two of wands. You don't want them to be waiting. You don't want them to be, uh, you know, uh, everything that you were hoping for in this relationship has, it feels like, you know, your plans kind of fell apart, okay? And if you think this person's in a two of wands energy, which they've already shown up, that waiting energy, you don't want them to be just waiting around. Either they choose you or they don't. You'd rather know where you stood, okay? But having someone just keep you hanging loose is not, it's not a very nice kind of energy to be in. I'm going to go one more for you. Thank you so much. Two of swords. Ha, yeah. See, it, basically, you're sharpshooting, Capricorn. It's like, you, you either know or you don't. Because, Capricorn, you know, okay? You know, sometimes we can be clouded about things. We can be like, you know what, I don't know. But when it comes to love, you either know or you don't. It's love or it's not, okay? I mean, I'm a Scorpio and, you know, sometimes, and, you know, I shouldn't be like this, but sometimes it feels black or white where I go, you know what, I'm either in love or I'm not. There's no kind of middle ground, especially when it comes to love. You can't be a little bit meh about someone because life's too short to be meh about anything, okay? Uh, if the last 18 months has taught us anything, it's about that, okay? So I do feel with those two cards, you're kind of like, make a choice already okay so that we can either heal this or we can uh seek new uh, you know a new phase of life and look elsewhere um now what does the star card mean for your person thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful capricorn uh we got seven of wands this person is very guarded um and we've also got the ace of swords interesting this person does want to heal things with you they want to have a breakthrough in this union with you and the Seven of Wands, uh, you know, this person, although, um, now, this person does feel like they could go the distance in the relationship with you, and they're not really conforming, though, to your idea of timeline with what you want in a relationship. I do feel like, though, this person wants to talk, and I do feel like this person will come in with a message for you. Ace of Swords is a breakthrough energy, a faded breakthrough, so I feel like Destiny will intervene in this to make this person sort of push through their boundaries in order to open up a little bit more. Um, I also feel like, now I'm not here, as I said, to play the blame game. Sometimes the Seven of Wands is someone who has, you know, got their barrier up, like they feel like you got somebody else, like there's someone in the mix. I'm just going to pull a card on that Seven of Wands. What does the Seven of Wands mean for this person? Six of Pentacles. Hmm. We got a Six of Pentacles. So this person... Um, I feel like this person struggles to uh, fully commit to a relationship. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that, Capricorn. You're already aware of that. You could tell me it. Uh, Six of Pentacles, though, means someone is not meeting you halfway. I feel like this person is aware that they have not met you halfway in this union. And I feel like that's why they're a little bit defensive to come on in. Because maybe they feel like you're going to be angry about this. I mean, thank you so much, Spirit Guys. I mean, you would have every right to be angry. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm... So Nine of Pentacles is, you know, this person is after financial gain in their world, so could be committing themselves to goals or dreams, financial rewards in life. So um, I feel like there's an element of independence with this person. Um, they may sort of say, I can't commit to you right now. You know, you'd be the person I want to be with, but right now I'm not focusing on settling down. Nine of Pentacles doesn't have to be a solitary energy. But it can be, especially since we got the Hermit in play here. Now, that Three of Swords is a very painful energy, but it's in the challenge position, so I read both sides, which means there is an amendment that will come here. Uh, someone will come to uh, have some sort of 
communication to try and recover something. So let me see the Three of Swords for you, what it means for you. Whoa, I gotta go get that card. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna, before I go, I'm just gonna get your person's cards. There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna go get that card. One minute, please. Okay, we got a King of Swords for you. So you're thinking about this person, but you're not talking to them. You're not making any action towards this person, okay? A uh, King of Swords tends to think before they act. So I feel like this person, you're trying to find the truth about this person, try and work out what went wrong, why, uh, see things from all angles before you make a decision on what it is that you want, okay? I feel like you're in your head a little bit about this, of course. Um, now I feel like you're wondering if this person's got a strategy. They're coming on in, they talk, then they leave, okay? Uh, so I do feel like you may be wondering why they broke your heart in this way. I just got this, all these questions it's just like question marks. They're showing me right now a box opening with all these question marks coming out. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of questioning happening here uh, for you. And what about your person? Eight of Cups. See, this person is trying to run away from their destiny. <laughs> this person, I mean, they're only going to hurt themselves because the lesson is going to keep on coming back and keep on coming back until such time as until they surrender to the union. The Eight of Cups says they're withdrawing. Okay, they're withdrawing from um, things at this time. And Destiny says, oh, where are you going? This is a faded relationship. Get back there. So I do feel like Destiny is going to intervene and bring this to be a more emotionally fulfilling uh, union. But I feel at this time, this person's trying to run away from their destiny. They're avoiding what they know deep in their heart is true, which is you are a counterpart for them. Okay, um, so uh, what is below you? Both, there is a new start available here, but it takes a leap of faith. It takes uh, courage to take that. Um, I feel like there's an element of uncertainty here. Who's going to take the first step? Capricorn, I feel like it's not you. I feel like you're weighing up your options. I mean, you've got the judgment card and you've got a king of swords. That says, I'm... Um, I'm not sure at this time, you know, deep down, you wanted to be in this relationship right from the beginning, but then some variables came into play and it's still my energy. There's a separation, a lot of sorrow, um, you know, nothing's happening, but you're not going to be the person to reach out because I feel like you've done enough already. Okay. This person, I feel they need to, uh, I feel like there's a little bit of immature energy with this card that comes from them. And I feel like this person is learning, um, that, Love requires great risk, and they have to, if they really want it, they have to, um, they have to take a, they have to take a gamble, okay? They cannot be in a protective energy forever, because they will just be alone forever. So I'm just going to, uh, pull a card, uh, here with that full card for you. Now, just before I do that, they'll show me, you know, an eraser, they'll show me someone using an eraser, Rubber, some people call it rubber, but that's not, <laughs> it's more an eraser, okay? Um, so, um, yeah, if, if that's you, you're uh, sort of rubbing something out there, um, then there's something in this message for you. If that's not you, I mean, it has to be when you're listening to this reading. Otherwise, it doesn't really fit the energy. Um, I mean, spiritually, it can mean that you feel like this person, perhaps, um, you're wondering if this person was a mistake, okay? Now, no person that ever comes into our lives are a mistake. Every person, no matter who they are, has something to teach us. You know, whether it is the person that we go into the coffee store and order our coffee with, they have something to teach us. You may not know or feel that they've got anything to teach you, but in that moment, even in a small exchange, it's about manners. It's about, you know, good day, bad day. It's about communication. It's about connecting to another. So every single person, everything you sort of encounter in life is there to spiritually evolve us. Uh, so... Let me see what this card means for you. Uh, we've got the Three of Swords in the reverse, and you've got the High Priestess. This person, they hurt you deeply. The wound is deep. Intuitively, you know that they're sorry. Deep down, you know that they are, but maybe they haven't spoken it yet, or you are waiting for this person to come on in. You know that they will be back to talk. You know. The, the High Priestess says, I know. Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. I feel like both of you and this person, you've got a psychic bond. You're intrinsically connected. Three of Swords says you know that this person will come to you to uh, to make some sort of contact. You would like an apology. You would like some sort of healing in this relationship. Um, but I feel like you know it deep down in your soul. You know it's not done. 
even if it's like five weeks time, even if it's a year's time, you know that you will hear from this person again. Now, I'm not suggesting anybody ever waits for another person because that is a waste of your golden time on this planet, okay? So uh, let's see what your person feels about this. We got the hangman, they're waiting. We got the tower and we got the hierophant, okay? So now either this person has been married before and has uh, gone through a divorce or your person, uh, you know, you met this person and uh, they were in a high level commitment with someone else at this time. Uh, I feel like, or at that time rather, uh, I feel like they're trying to close something out because the tower says something in their world is crumbling. Um, I also feel like this person is rebelling against what they feel they should do. Um, and I feel like they're doing things differently. It's almost like they have a devil may care kind of attitude. Okay, uh, with that hangman, this person, they're gonna keep waiting. Okay, they are literally seeking um, what is right for them. There's, they are seeing things from a different perspective, how they were rebellious, how they did separate from you. I mean, the Hierophant, if it's just a separation from you, Capricorn, that this on their mind, I feel like the universe is sort of giving them a big slap of karma because the tower basically says something in their world is crumbling and it's making way for something greater, a new perspective, uh, a way to see, you know, how they influenced uh, the breakup with you and them with their actions. Uh, I do feel like this person is coming to a major aha moment, a major epiphany. Um, now I do, I'm going to have to pull a card separately on the Hierophant because I'm not really sure if this person with the energy that I got so far is looking for a deeper commitment in a relationship at this moment in time, like in the next two, three weeks. So let me see the Hierophant. Can you please clarify the Hierophant for my beautiful Capricorn, their person? The Six of Cups, I mean, they do want, they do re, want to reunite with you, okay? The Six of Cups is, uh, you know, a return to the good old days kind of energy, but this person may be stuck in the past in some way. Um, now, they could have experienced some sort of major breakup in their past as well, that they feel guarded, that they don't want to open up to love. Even though they love you, Capricorn, I feel like they may be guarded like, you know what, I can't get into a marriage or I'm not going to get married again if they were married already. Or perhaps they experienced some sort of, um, you know, their parents divorcing or something or the guardians uh, divorces, divorcing when they were younger. There's something here about, um, you know, looking back at relationships that did not work out or your relationship that did not work out. I do feel like this person wants to commit. They want to, uh, you know, open themselves up to uh, that wonderful love that you have to offer. Six of Cups, you know, uh, can be a return to the good old days, old flames returning. So there's definitely an energy of that. I would say this person and you have to be mindful that you don't look back with rose tinted glasses and that you see the past for what it truly is. Okay. In all its sort of um, sharp focus, let's put it that way. So, uh, you know, does this person kind of want to return to your energy? Uh, I'd say yes, but I would say, uh, you know, just be mindful that, uh, they're not forgetting about the reasons that you s separated in the first place, or they're not trying to crack, you know, pave over any cracks. Um, now in the past, we've got King of Cups. King of Cups is a Scorpio energy. We have Aries Scorpio here. We have more Aries. Oh, we've got a little bit of energy joining the candle. We've got Libra Taurus. We've got Pisces and we got Virgo. Okay. Uh, so this energy, the King of Cups is someone who is uh, deeply um, uh, spiritual, someone who is uh, also, there's a lot of love here. I feel like you and this person may have launched this relationship a couple of times. You may have been a bit in and out of each other's life. Uh, I do feel like you went in hot and heavy. So I'm just going to, because they're really highlighting the fact that the two ships, it's almost like the big ship got sailed first and, you know, it, it should have been a bit more sort of slow and steady wins the race kind of energy. Let me just see what that is. King of Cups. Can you please clarify the King of Cups? Whoa. Uh, we've got strength card in the reverse for you, which is um, a little bit of doubt. Oh gosh, we've got the full card in the reverse as well. So um, I do feel with that, there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, you gave your heart fully. I feel like you plunged right on in with your heart with this one. And uh, the strength card, I feel like there is, a, I feel like you struggle with opening up to that level of vulnerability in the first place. Um, because not everybody is privy to your inner circle, Capricorn. You are very discerning with the people that you give your time, attention, and care to, let alone your heart. 
okay? So I feel like the Fool card here, you've lost some hope. You felt like there was love in the past with this person and everything right now, you're feeling like everything's at a standstill, that nothing's gonna happen and you're not even sure if you can recoup this or even if you can trust this. I do feel as well, Capricorn, there's an element of pride that is coming through here, but this is because um, you've been hurt, okay? I mean, we all lick our wounds in pride when you know we're hurt uh, we put a barrier up so i'm not pointing a finger at anybody but i feel like uh there's a deep wound here that's left you very cynical about love in general and uh, there may have been a real test of faith in this relationship where you're very confused about what to do next okay um now let me see what uh this king of cups is for your person thank you so much spirit guys great angels the world card in the reverse uh this person number one they have not le learned a lesson Okay, uh, but also I feel they've got uh, unfinished less well unfinished business here with you. Uh, this means this person feels your union, the love that they have for you, has unfinished potential. They still their heart is still in this with you, Capricorn. Okay, with that world card. Um, I feel like they got some regrets here. Uh, I feel like they they cannot get closure on this. No matter whether they run away from their destiny or not, I feel like this person cannot get closure on it. So I feel like this person's still stuck on you. Now we do have a two of swords in the potential for the next four to five weeks, sitting on the fence, stalemate energy. So I got to give it to you, Capricorn, if this is what I'm feeling so far. I mean, in the near future, I do feel like there is a movement forward. There is some sort of action in this relationship that is quite positive. But I do feel, you know, uh, there's a lot of nothing happening. Okay, for a little while. Uh, I'm going to pull a card on this Two of Swords. Two of Swords is about making a compromise. I feel like this person really wants to be with you, but do they want to put a ring on it in a crude sense? Not at this time. I feel like this person, um, they're holding out. Um, and I don't even feel like you're pushing this person either to get you know, a ring on it, as it were. I feel like you want to know where you stand. I feel like you want clarity. I feel like you want them to make a decision. Because Capricorn, most important is you're making a decision and you're in that energy right now, which is you're like, you're about, I feel like you you could turn around to this person and say, you're, you're about to lose me forever. And that's not a, an easy thing for you to say on this one. Can you please clarify the two of swords for my beautiful Capricorn? We got the nine of swords in the reverse. We got the two of cups in the reverse and we got the temperance in the reverse so all these cards in the reverse but the nine of swords in the reverse says you're recovering from this separation okay uh, you're still healing you're still um in uh, you know moments of grief or uh you know real chaotic energy uh you feel things are out of your control in this union okay now of course especially when fate is involved there's no such thing as control, okay? Uh, it's about going with the flow and seeing where life takes us. Uh, but with that two of cups, I feel like you feel this person let you down. You may feel that, like this person's not interested in you, okay, since the separation. Um, so I feel like you're really trying to weigh up your options as to where you go next. Now let's see what this means for your person. Two of swords, can you please clarify for Capricorn's person? The strength card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. The Two of Pentacles and the Magician. So they're in the Magician energy. So we're showing, uh, I'm basically feeling this is their journey. Okay, the faded journey, which is the overall arc of your journey uh, for the next five to six weeks, as I said there. So we've got the Strength card. This person is building their confidence. Uh, they're being quite calm about things. They're also being quite controlling and, you know, with their energy. Uh, but the Strength card, this person's focusing on themselves. The Strength card is number eight, which is the number of self. We've got the Two of Pentacles. In the time that it has taken for them to take a necessary time out and really think about things, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse says they're not uncertain. They're starting to know what they really want, okay? Um, this person, they may have struggled with high level commitments or even with commitment issues, uh, but this person, I don't feel like they're overwhelmed anymore. I feel like they are knowing what they want with the two of pentacles in the reverse. And the magician says they're going to be focusing on what they want. Okay, they're in that energy of accomplishing things. I do feel like there's an element of this person thinking of you in that. And I do feel like, you know, the magician card is the masculine energy to do. So whether male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's the masculine energy of doing. So I do feel like this person is going to take action because they've thought about things and 
They know what they want. And a magician card that says this person thinking about what they want, they're manifesting it into their world. So you may be thinking about this person a lot, Capricorn, because they're actually thinking about you. Um, but that's by the by. Uh, I do feel like more that this person is going to go after what they want. Okay. Now in the... Um, Near future, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles card says, can we save this? Is this a savable union? But it's also about knowing the energy that you put into something and getting the same sort of reward back out. It's about the time and effort you put into something and asking, is it worth it? So the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, you have a healthy half of an apple and your other person has to come with that other half of a healthy apple before you can make a hole, as it were. So I do feel like both of you in a separate energy are um, cultivating your world to make things a more healthy or grounding before you start having a committed relationship. The chariot card also says there are some obstacles in this union. There's definitely some, you know, uh, challenges that you face ahead together, but you're capable of overcoming those uh, challenges and meeting the requirements to come together in a beautiful relationship where you can sort of change things for the better. You're both going through some sort of spiritual journey. So I do feel like in the near future, you and this person can have a very successful union, but you both have to meet each other halfway. And if you've been doing a lot of legwork in the relationship, Capricorn, or if they have been, the, the energy has to become reciprocal, okay? Uh, the chariot card does say, this can be success. This can be a victorious union, but you both have to be motivated to want to overcome the obstacles, okay? Um, and I feel the Six of Wands there also says the hard work will be worth the reward. This is, you know, a recognition. This is news. This is a message coming on in. Six of Wands tends to be about a message coming on in. Uh, same like an Eight of Wands, but I do feel like this, uh, you know, there's some message attached to this that you're going to feel is rewarding. So I do feel like your person will be motivated to come towards you and try and save this union. You've got three cards there that says, you know, this is savable. This person is motivated to message you. Um, and we've got the star card. So again, they're saying that this can be healed, this union. Uh, so let us see what the advice uh, is for yourself in this moment. What is your advice to yourself in this moment, Capricorn? Uh, we've got King of Wands. Oh, gosh. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. The advice to yourself in this moment is the King of Wands. Now, in this deck, there are two kings of every suit. There are two emperors. Um, it does say in the deck you can take the, the, the doubles out if you so wish. But when I was meditating and cleansing the deck when I brought it to uh, my altar, my guides asked me to keep all of the kings, all of the emperors in there because it would help them uh, give me energy for the story that they want to uh, sort of connect to. So the King of Wands here is motivation, but it's also about, you know, someone boldly sweeping the other off the feet, their feet or fighting for a union. This is action. You know, King of Wands is a king of action. Someone who, you know, feels confident that they should, they know what they need to do now and is not closed off, is opening up to their passion, okay? And then the external circumstances, the environment of what is about to happen is the King of Wands. So I feel like whatever it is your advice to yourself in this moment, you know, um, you know, manifest um, someone who has chemistry with you because I feel like you and this person have got high chemistry, okay? Um, I feel like you're going to get what you want. Now, this person may be an Aries, but I feel like they're a nonconformist, but I feel like this person cannot, um, they cannot resist your alluring magnetism. Both of you are like magnets. I feel also that maybe you and this person are kind of similar in your energy. So, you know, when you get to two polar uh, sort of ends of a uh, magnet and they're so similar, they do not buy. They push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. But if you change some variables, you got the, ch uh, the chariot card right there, which means change, action. All of a sudden you change one small variable in each side, they stick together. We got a match. So I do feel like what you're thinking about, what you're, you know, what you're wanting, someone who vibes with you, someone who's got really strong chemistry with you, someone to sweep you off your feet, I feel like that's what you're going to have. You just want this person to fight for the union or at least sort of align you with what they're thinking, the, the truth of the situation, okay? So I do feel like what you want, I feel like you're going to get Capricorn, let's put it that way. What is the hope and fear in this union? 
the strength card. Okay, now there is some sabotage that goes on in this union, self-sabotage. I do feel like there's a little bit of anger that's also still present in this union, uh, but I do feel like with courage and patience and loving yourselves separately, fully, I feel like you can overcome the obstacles. The strength card says you can overcome the obstacles with time. It takes a long time to tame a lion, right? And if you feel like this person who marches to the beat of their own drum, and so do you, Capricorn, I feel like we've got two very independent spirits fighting against wanting to settle down, but also wanting to keep their sense of identity. Okay, so I feel like you're both the same in the energy. So I feel like it's going to take a lot for you and this person to kind of smooth out what's going on with you both. I'm going to pull a card on, okay, Herald of Wands. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? So, the Herald of Wands says, there is a potential that you will open yourself up to new passion. You've thought about it. Uh, I also feel like you want this person to come towards you with a message. Heralds bring news. They're pages, okay? So I feel like, you know, there is a passionate message coming on in here from your person. But the hangman is still present, and so is the fool card. So the message that this person brings on in, I feel like you both want similar things, but maybe not in the same timeline. That's the similar energy that came up in the Gemini reading. But I feel like this person will message you. And the hangman says, you know, yes, they have seen something different. They have opened their eyes to a new way of thinking. Um, but the fool card in the reverse says they're not willing to take, you know, that leap of faith at this time to a committed relationship. I mean... This is in the next four to five weeks, okay? Um, so I do feel like you will be messaging back and forth, perhaps trying to overcome the obstacles. I do feel like this person's going to be bold. They're going to come towards you. I feel like they are going to fight for the union, but you don't just fight for a union and just overnight, it's like, okay, we're back together. So I do feel like it's going to take time and uh, commitment. Uh, what about your person? How are they feeling about this? We got the Knight of Pentacles. We got the Ace of Pentacles. And we got the strength card. So yeah, you know, this person, as I said, it's going to take time. You got the strength card. So this person, patience. They're focusing on their own needs. They're working out what they want. They're taming. Um, it's almost like if you told this person what to do, they'd absolutely do the opposite on purpose just to prove a point. That's the energy that I got coming through here. Uh, also, we got Ace of Pentacles and a Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but it is the most committed Okay, so there is a high level commitment coming on in here from this person, but also I feel there's a potential for new because aces bring new. Okay, so I do feel that this person is going to surprise you. They're going to offer you, um, you know, their full commitment across the board and there's going to be a new communication from this person. Um, I feel like they are focused on career. There's a lot of money in their chart all the time. I feel like they're always thinking about their pentacles, but I do feel like Give it time to breathe. They're going to come on in with a solid offer for you. Um, now, whether you want that or not, because you are in that judgment card energy, which is you're weighing up your options. You're wondering if this person, you can trust them, whether they mean it, whether it's worth another chance. Let's see the uh, overall outcome. They want three in this position as well. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. So we have the Empress card. We've got the Three of Pentacles. And we got the Devil card. So... Empress card says there is a lot of potential in this union. Both of you are very attractive people um, who, you know, I feel like you're, I feel like you're addicted to each other. I really feel like there's an obsession where you're addicted to each other. Uh, maybe even kinky stuff going on there, but I do feel like there's something here about a child or children that either the person does not want children at this time or that um, they have children elsewhere or you do, and I'm not saying the children are getting in the way at all, not at all, but I feel like there's some sort of blockage here about settling down. Let me see what the, the devil card is. What is the devil card for you, Capricorn? Because that is your card. The devil card is your card. But the the devil card... Um, the devil card here is um, basically identifies the blockage. The devil card actually says, what's keeping you stuck? Because you can get out of your own way, but you're tempted all the time to keep going back into a pattern. So, 
uh, for you, we got Four of Pentacles. Maybe holding on to um, an idea of long-term security, what you're hoping for with this person. Uh, maybe you're closing yourself off to, um, you know, going with the flow. Um, we got the Hierophant here, which is a separation. I mean, either you were in a high-level commitment with this person, maybe you got engaged or were, uh, you know, lived together with this person, and it seems like a very uh, large separation. Uh, the Hierophant says there's rebellion here, there's kickback. Okay, this is not the traditional sort of relationship that you were hoping to be in. But the Two of Pentacles says you know what you want and it's very difficult to sort of move on from a love that you feel magnetic towards. You feel like it's like a moth to a flame. But there's still something holding this person back. Now whether it is either they were married before or you were married before or there's something here about separate, you know, I feel like the separation is maybe keeping you stuck. Um, the chariot card and the four of cups. One more, they said one more. This is for your person. Okay, indecisive energy, chariot. Okay, so this person will talk to you, but in terms of physical movement forward, the chariot will in the near future, but in the next four to five weeks. I mean, the chariot card says, you know, it's, it's, it's on hold. The chariot in the reverse. The four of cups says it may feel a little bit boring or unfulfilling because nothing's happening. But then all of a sudden, it'll become more emotionally fulfilling. And we got the two of pentacles here. Now the two of pentacles says there will be a choice. It says you will weigh up your options. So again, I mean, I really want them to... This person is very indecisive. So Capricorn, I would again say to you, do you want someone who is indecisive? I mean, they seem to want to heal things with you it's like this in and out energy beyond the two of pentacles the three of pentacles <laughs> spirit's really funny i asked for the beyond the two of pentacles they give me the three of pentacles which is the card you got here so they are indicating the same energy um i feel like you and this person will collaborate to make something that's quite delicate at this moment in time rebuild it stronger as you can see three of pentacles is about coming together it's about teamwork it doesn't have to be that there's three in the teamwork. Uh, it doesn't mean it's a third party situation. It means people coming together to rebuild or to build something uh, that is stable, that leads to long-term security. As you can see, that flower is very delicate, typically, but this card is being made out, this, uh, sorry, uh, flower is being made out of brick. So I feel like there's repair work, as you can see, all those birds are helping uh, repair this flower and make it stronger. So I do feel like you and this person, once the blockages have been overcome, because we've got two Three of Pentacles there, which is, suggests this will be repaired. This union can be repaired. And it will be stronger than it was before. But I feel like it's going to take a lot to get there. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you and say, yeah, next Friday it's going to be great. Uh, I do feel like this can blossom into something wonderful, something deeply committed, something that will eventually lead to a higher level of commitment, maybe even settling down energy. Let me see if I can see beyond that. But at this time, I feel like there's a lot to overcome before you mend the relationship. Okay. Um, can I see beyond Herald of Cups in the reverse? The Six of Swords. The Moon. Now, the Herald of Cups is immature energy. Okay. Immature energy that's happened in a breakup dependent energy, bratty behavior. So the Six of Swords says, you know, if this immature energy can be overcome and moved away from, the Moon card says things can become a little bit more clear, okay? If there's been uncertainty, there will be clarity. Uh, there will be no more overthinking. But I feel this person is doing some real, real thinking here, shadow work. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords. You know, they give me the same energy. Ten of Cups is the separation energy, which is like either a broken marriage or, you know, a broken union uh, that is at this moment in conflict. And the Four of Swords says it needs to be healed. It need, Two people need to be alone at this time to really think about what they want. Um, the Four of Swords in the reverse, though, does say get ready for action. Get ready for communication. This is not a time for, uh, you know, you're getting over the rest, period. So, I mean, in the upright, that says rest, 
be at one with the uncertainty. Trust that the universe has got your back. You're protected at this time. But the four swords in the verse says, get ready. There will be communication. But at the moment, I feel like there's a lot to unpick in this relationship. So I'll leave it there, Capricorn. I know that doesn't really help you in any shape or form, really. But it does say that right now, I mean, they are thinking about you. There is a potential to heal this union. Uh, but there's a lot. The challenge is there's a lot of sorrow. There's a lot to unpick. Okay, I do feel in the near future, uh, you can save this union and it will be a committed relationship. Um, but the blockages have to be looked at and overcome, which is something that you and this person have to do alone before you come back together in union. Okay, uh, now we got disturbance, storm, disintegrate. So that is the tower energy. Now, a lot of people are scared of the tower. Um, I love the tower because, um, you know, the tower is Aries, Scorpio energy. I'm a Scorpio. So I understand the idea of rebirth, of things having to crumble away before you can rebuild them back better and stronger. Okay. So when you get a tower, it basically means if there is still my energy between two people and either they're going round and round in a circle or nothing's happening between them, there's still my energy and things are just not changing. Um, the tower comes into the mix, it's often followed by a Wheel of Fortune, in order to sort of change and challenge the relationship so that two people can become unstuck, come out of their prison, and work out what it is they want. Take action. Take a leap of faith. Now, deep down, you and this person, you have to take a leap of faith. But it's going to take a tower moment for that realization, that epiphany, before both parties say, I'm set to lose the counterpart. I got to do something about it. Okay. So I do feel like you have to go through the storm, walk through the storm before you come out the other side and rebuild. I mean, you've got the rebuilding card right there, that three of pentacles, which says something delicate is going to be rebuilt with stronger foundations. And we've got lizard regeneration. So again, something that has been cut off will re will grow back. So that's the same energy with that lizard. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are the master of regeneration. Okay, so I feel like you can rejuvenate this relationship if you want to, Capricorn, because I'm not even sure if there's moments that you really want to because there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of blockages. You know that the journey is going to be a tough one. Now, you can endure it. You will do it, of course. If you set your mind to it, you can do anything. Um, but I feel like this relationship has the power to be regenerated. Um, it's just, it's going through some difficulties at this time. Uh, now, I'm just going to get a toolkit before we close. Uh, we've got, okay, uh, so we've got a fish there, which is, uh, you know, it often connects to the Pisces energy. There's a little uh, gem right in that fish's mouth. Now, when it, it connects to the Page of Cups, Page of Cups energy tends to be, you know, uh, someone who maybe a little bit younger than you, but out of the blue, they pop up with an offer of love, sometimes an apology as well. Okay, so the Page of Cups can offer an apology when it comes to love, but it will be out of nowhere. Okay, I would say give it time to breathe. You don't need to run after this person, Capricorn, you know. I mean, be ready for the communication, but let them come to you is what I'm, I'm getting in this energy. Where's like this? Where's like this? Oh, they want on the King of Fire. King of, well, King of Fire, King of Wands, which one? Top one, top one. Okay. Uh, we've also got a feather. Okay. Now the feather is your guides are protecting you at this time. I also feel like this is a signifier. There's going to be a moment where you're walking along your path and there's not just one white feather, but there's many. Okay, there's a couple of white feathers along a certain path that you're going to see in the next four to five weeks. That is your signifier that there is a change in your relationship with this person for the positive. Okay, uh, so I will leave that there. Where would you like this? Okay, they want it on the Hermit card. It's not just about what they want, Capricorn, remember. It's also about what you want. So think about that very carefully before you and this person start to try and rebuild something. I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.